Hello everybody and welcome to another quick and easy tutorial. Today we're gonna go through a bit of stream element stuff. My name is Omasul and I hope this will help you in your streaming journey. Let's go. If this video helps you in any way at all, please remember to subscribe and hit that like button. So I got some questions from all of you how to like implement some chat system or alerts or anything at all how this stream elements overlays work. So today I'm just going to show you how quickly and easy and how customizable you can do it. So after you logged into your stream elements, make your way over to streaming tools by overlays in your stream elements. You can go in and this big blue button right here, new overlay, push that. You'll get in here, your overlay resolution. You'll want it the highest possible. 1080 is absolutely the best you can get or else just 1440. If you have a 4040p monitor, you can do that. I'll just keep it at 1080. You'll get presented with this page, right? Here. This is your overlay section. Everything you put in here will be shown on your Twitch, on your YouTube, on your Facebook. So what do you want to get in first? Let's say you want to implement your just chatting scene. So let's add, you go down to the plus sign right here. You'll see alerts, engagement, labels, static, charity, and streamer tool. Let's add the picture from your over. You can add whatever you want. You can add up to a video, an asset rotation, or an image. For my ID right now, it's just an image that I want. You get this little pop-up right here, but this is not where, where we want to go. You want to go to set image and let's see here. You can upload your own image, all files, sounds, whatever you like you can do on this stream on this page so <clears throat> i got this scene right here the starting soon one i'll drag it over just bear with me <laughs> just think about this as a uh, as the starting or not just chatting scene all right so when you drag it in you want to go into positions size and style so you want to write 19, 20, and 10, 80. Now fills up the entire scene. So after that, you'll want to, so here's your scene. <clears throat> and what you want in your scene is probably your chat. So let's take the chat and that's on streamer tools right here with the plus sign, your streamer chat in streamer tools. You'll get this pop-up right here. I got my chatty chat right here and you can make it as big as you want. You can customize it. You can do your checkers one, white one. You can do a custom one. I like to do it custom. I like to have mine transparent. If I go to my chat right now and I write, Hey, how's it going? It's gonna pop up right here. It should pop up. Here we go. And it popped up. So you got your custom scene. You can add your background if you want. I, I don't want you can you can write your own color code on your uh, background if you want. You can also go into text settings right here. You can pick a font that stream elements have or you can pick your own custom font right here. And what you want to do with the enable custom font, you need to write the exact name of your custom after you installed it on your PC. You need to install the font on your PC to get it to work. I'll just use the grand standard that it has here. I'll give it a 25 size. That's good for me. Uh, let's do shadow because I like me some shadow. I really like it just white. Let's keep it white and that's it. Now you have a chat and everybody can see it on your stream. You can always just edit your shadow to make it more visible to your shadows here. I like it like that. Now it's popping more out and it's very, very nice for people to see. 
yeah i love that after this we would like our alerts to pop up so what you want to do is always go down to the plus sign every time you want to get something in your overlay you go to the plus sign right here you go up to the alerts you can always search for the things you want because we're gonna get the alert box in so when you push the alert box this square will pop up and i'll just put it here in the middle you'll see all of your followers subscribers tip alert cheer alert host alert rate alert and purchase alert if the check marks aren't on they won't pop up on your stream so you want to have the check marks on if you want to customize anything you'll go in on the cogwheels of each one and you can set whatever image you want you can change the video if you want you can control the volume you can even upload a sound that you want let's emulate and see how it looks right now this is how it looks right now you have the image above and the text here if you push this one it will come on the side you can always take down how long the durations how many seconds i like to have it seven seconds because that's how long a good attention span should be you can always go down to tts settings if you want to enable text to speech i don't like to have that on on my followers you can do your text settings here just like we did with the chat i'll just change that to the grand standard we have a 30 we have it big we have it bold and we have the text stroke you can change the animation of your text how it pops up when you get the alerts rubber band let's see how the wave looks let's emulate that look at that and you get a little wave that's very nice you have your secondary the highlighted one this is the name of who follows you so let's change the name and let's see that very nice you can just write in your code here if you have a preferred color code that you like you can always customize how high or how low to the right or to the left how far away the text should be from your picture now it's a minus 50 and that's right under here let's say we wanted minus 500 for example now it's not here at all because it's too far away minus 50 is oh it goes yeah say minus 100 now it's on top of the picture see that you can always you can do whatever you want that's what i like about stream notes. you can customize it however you want i can show you the variations of the subscribers here because everything has a, a variation you have a resubscriber you can go in to your vari variations on your subscriber alerts go all the way down here and you can add your new variation your own variation or you can just customize whatever you have here. and you can customize you get a little pop-up here and you can customize the resubscriber monthly subscriber and which emote or which picture video whatever you're gonna get every time somebody resubscribes and you can also change the sound so it sounds differently you can change the duration you can change the, the text you can change everything because the variations gives you when somebody subscribes a new subscriber you get this sound and another subscriber gets another different sound so you always when you listen to your headsets or when you're gaming you know the difference of, of what alerts are going on if you get familiar with the sounds you have on your alerts of course now these are the two main things that you'll want on your just chatting screen or on your gaming screen. And if you want some labels, let's say you want um, how many subscribers you have or how many followers. Let's say you want a follower goal. You get this up. I always think that these bars right here look quite ugly in my opinion. So what I like to do is to have the simple design. You can set your goal here. My goal is soon. We are almost hitting 666. <laughs> so what I like to do, we we'll just push your goal here. You see how many subscribers or oh how many followers you have. You could go into text settings. You can add your own text. 
I want the grand standard because we have everything in grand standard here. You can move it. I like to move it right here. Cause that looks good to me. Make it smaller. And what happens when you get a new subscriber? No, a new follower. You'll get 51 right here. So you can add your follower gold. These are on the labels right here. And you can add your bits, your tips, your subscribers. Let's see the latest subscriber. My little subscriber is Lime Lime. Thank you, Lime Lime. And we'll keep it there. And each time there's a new subscriber, this will update. So as you see, there's a lot of cool things you can do with stream elements. I've just done the basics right now. You don't need to do it very, very advanced at all to make it look nice. And I like my simple and minimalistic overlays. I don't want it to be all flashy and do things like that. This is what I used for a long time before. I don't use this anymore. Some other things you can do to make it more engaging for the stream. You can have the, if you go into the alerts here, you can go to cup again and you'll add that and you'll make it as big as the screen. And every time somebody does an emote, it will pop in your screen. You can do the random animations here. This is random. I like it to bounce. I think that looks really cool. You can even have emotes, just random emotes pop up and bounce all the way around. I want it to bounce. Where is it? Oh, this. Oh, it's just random animation when it explodes. Yeah. So when somebody follows, it will do an emote explosion just like that. <laughs> That's insane. What? That's so many emotes and you can choose how many emotes are going to explode how many Let's see here that looks better it's an ex it's a firework i like that every time you get a subscriber a follower a cheer or whatever there's a firework of emotes that will spread across your screen and it looks dope you can also add a hype boss and every time somebody subscribes you can see here Boss can heal themselves by tipping, cheering, etc. Follower damage, 5. Bit damage, 1 per bit. Subscriber damage, 300. Tip damage, 100. And host damage, 10. You can always customize these. And they will try to get you down with subscriptions or bit damage. So when you're done doing everything you need to do for your overlays on stream elements, the only thing you need to do is to add a browser source on OBS. And the way to do that is to copy the browser link, of course, save it before you do anything else or copy URL from your overlays gallery. When you're done with that, open OBS. Here I have OB OBS open. It's infinity. <laughs> You'll want to add, let's say we want to add just chatting, right? Just chatting. In this scene, we'll want to add our browser source. This is IRL. We'll add our browser source. We'll make it as big as we made it on stream elements. Add OK, and there you go. Now you have everything you need from Stream Elements on OBS, and it uses little to nothing of your resources on your PC. Just remember that when you're adding your camera, you need to add your camera underneath the browser source. So you have, as you see here, you need to add it underneath or else your camera is going to be over your overlay. I hope this video helped you in any way at all. If you have some questions, please leave it in the comments down below. If you want, you can join our discord. I have a Twitch and OBS channel there that you can write and we help each other. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.